Good morning. Today we are going to solve exercise 4.5. Verify a into adjoint a equal to adjoint a into a equal to determinant of a into i. For that the matrix is given here. Now for this matrix we have to verify that this left hand side is equal to right hand side and that is equal to this one. Uh, for that first let us take this matrix see that the let that matrix is equal to a then at joint a we have to find so multiplication of a 3 by 3 matrix into another 3 by 3 matrix here that should be equal to the determinant of the a value that is the given matrix into that identity matrix so let us find the determinant here so let the given matrix take it as a is equal to 1 minus 1 2 3 0 minus 2 1 0 3 now for this let us find the determinant value so determinant a is equal to 1 into 0 into 3 is 0 minus 0 into minus 2 is 0 now next place minus sign the number is minus 1 of 3 into 3 is 9 now minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2 now next the place sign is plus value is 2 into 3 into 0 is 0 and next 1 into 0 is 0 sub right now this is equal to 1 into 0 minus of minus become plus here plus 1 this becomes 11 plus 2 into 0 so this is equal to 11 determinant value that is equal to 11 now determinant into identity matrix so determinant into identity so 11 into the identity matrix 0 0 0 1 so this is equal to 11 0 0 0 11 0 0 0 11 we want to prove that a into a joint a we will get this matrix that is a determinant into identity now to find the adjoint a we need cofactor of a there so let us find the cofactor here so cofactor of a first one first place a 1 1 a 1 1 means just multiply here 0 into 3 is 0 0 into minus 2 is 0 so this value is 0 next a 1 2 for this place we will be having minus sign there so minus next 3 into 3 is 9 9 minus minus of minus 2 becomes plus so this is equal to minus 11 next a 1 3 so this is equal to this place sign is plus so plus here next 3 into 0 is 0 1 into 0 is also 0 so the value is 0 minus 0 that is equal to 0 next capital a 2 1 capital a 2 1 this is equal to now 3 this one means leave this row leave the column so 1 into 3 is 3 1 into 3 is 1 into 3 minus uh, minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 0 into 2 is minus 0 the place sign is minus so this is equal to plus 3 next a 2 2 this place sign is plus here now this leave this row leave this column 1 into 3 is 3 minus 1 into 2 is 2 so this is equal to 1 next a 2 3 the place is 
minus here minus for this place sin is minus so leave this row leave this column 1 into 0 1 into minus 1 so that is 0 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 so a equal to minus 1 here next a 3 1 a 3 1 this one this place for this place sin is plus so here sin is plus here now next leave this row and leave this column so minus 1 into minus 2 is 2 0 into 2 is 0 so this is equal to 2 next a 3 2 for this place sin is minus leave this row leave this column 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 minus 3 into 2 is 6 so this is minus 8 of minus is plus 8 next a into 3 3 this is equal to for this place sin is plus here so leave this row leave this column 1 into 0 is 0 minus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 that becomes plus 3 so this is equal to 3 now we have the cofactor matrix here so let us write the cofactor of a cofactor of a that is 0 minus 11 0 3 1 minus 1 2 8 3 this is cofactor now let us write the adjoint a that is transpose of this matrix we have to write the transpose of this is 0 minus 11 0 next is 3 1 minus 1 next is 2 8 3 this is adjoint matrix now we have find the adjoint matrix now our aim is to multiply a into adjoint a and adjoint a into a so now let us multiply a into adjoint a so this is equal to a matrix is this is my a matrix 1 minus 1 2 1 minus 1 2 next is 3 0 minus 2 3 0 minus 2 next is 1 0 3 1 0 3 this is a matrix this into adjoint a 0 minus 11 0 3 1 minus 1 2 8 3 now see here in multiplication here row wise here column wise we have to do multiplication so let us multiply 1 into 0 is 0 plus minus 1 into minus 11 is 11 plus 2 into 0 is 0 next 1 into 3 is 3 next minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 next 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 into 8 is minus 8 2 into 3 is plus 6 next 3 into 0 0 plus 0 into 11 0 plus minus 2 into 0 that is also 0 next 3 into 3 9 plus 0 into 1 0 plus minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2 next 3 into 2 6 0 into 8 plus 0 3 into 2 into minus 2 into 3 is 6 next 1 into 0 0 plus 0 into 11 0 plus 3 into 0 is 0 1 into 3 is 3 0 into 1 is 
zero. Three into minus one is minus three. Next one into two is two plus zero into eight is zero plus three into three is nine. Now this is equal to now this value is eleven. Here three minus three zero. Now two plus six eight minus eight zero. Now this value is zero. Two nine plus two is eleven. Here sorry this is minus six plus six minus six is zero. Next this value becomes zero. This value becomes zero. This value is eleven. Now this we got here as eleven zero zero. Zero eleven zero 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 eleven. The eleven is a value of the determinant. So this we can take the eleven out, and if I write means, then that will be equal to determinant of A into this identity matrix here. Now the same thing we have to multiply in ulta also. That is a j A into A also. We have to prove that we are getting the same thing there. So adjoint A is what zero three two minus eleven one eight zero minus one three. This is adjoint A into A is one minus one two three zero minus two one zero three. Now same thing. Here row wise, here column wise, we have to do. Now start multiplication. This is equal to zero into one is zero plus three into three is nine plus three two two into one is two. Next zero into minus one zero plus three into zero is zero plus two into zero is also zero. Next zero into two is zero. Plus three into minus two is minus six. Two into three is plus six. Minus eleven into one is minus eleven. One into three is three. Eight into one is plus eight. Now minus one into minus minus eleven that is plus eleven. One into zero is zero. Eight into zero is also zero. Next. Minus eleven into two is minus twenty two. One into minus two is minus two. Now eight into three is plus twenty four. Next zero into is one is zero. Minus one into three is minus three. Three into one is plus three. Now zero into minus one is zero. One into minus one into zero is zero. Minus one into zero is zero. Next zero into two is zero. Plus minus one into minus two is two. Plus three into three is nine. Now this is equal to. Now add up. This becomes eleven. Here it is zero. Plus six minus six cancel. So zero. Now minus eleven plus eleven zero. This value is eleven. Minus twenty four plus twenty four zero. Now minus three plus three zero. This value becomes zero, and here it is eleven. Now this is equal to determinant of A into I. Therefore, it is verified that capital A into adja A is equal to adja A into A. That is equal to determinant of A into I. Hence, proved. All these three are equal. Therefore, hence it is verified here. The next question: Find the inverse of this matrix. We know that to find the inverse, the first thing we have to check that whether the uh, determinant value is not equal to zero or not. After the determinant value is not equal to zero, then we can find the inverse. That is, a inverse equal to one by determinant of a into adjoint. This is the inverse value. 
now let us check whether the determinant value is not equal to 0 or not now the given matrix let us take this is a is equal to 2 4 minus 2 and 3 this is a matrix now let us find the determinant a that is 2 4 minus 2 3 this is equal to cross multiply 2 into 3 is 6 minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 that is equal to 14. Now determinant A value that is equal to 14 here. Now let us find the adjoint A. Adjoint A for the 2 cross 2 matrix is just interchanging the leading diagonal values and in this side just we have to change the sign of the matrix here so leading diagonal interchanges so this is 2 and 3 and 2 here now this place we have to change the sign here so this is the adjacent matrix now adjacent matrix is there now let us find a inverse so a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant value is 14 this into adjoint matrix 3 2 minus 4 and 2 now take this 1 by 14 to inside here so that is 3 by 14 2 by 14 minus 4 by 14 and 2 by 14 now try to simplify this possible now this is equal to 3 by 14 this can be simplified as 1 by 7 this can be simplified as 1 by 7 and this can be simplified as minus 2 by 7 this is the inverse of the given matrix the next question find the inverse of the given matrix that is 3 cross 3 matrix is given here first let us take that this matrix a is equal to 2 4 of minus 7 1 minus 1 2 3 0 and 1 to find the inverse same procedure determinant value should not be equal to 0 and a inverse equal to 1 by determinant a into adjoint a there now first to find the determinant value so 2 1 3 4 minus 1 0 minus 7 2 1 this determinant this is equal to 2 into now this row and this column leave it multiply here 1 in minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 2 into 0 is 0 next minus next place is minus the value is 1 4 into 1 is 4 minus si, minus 7 into 0 is 0 the next place here the sign is plus here value is 3 leave the row leave the column 4 into 2 it is 8 minus minus 7 into minus 1 is plus 7 so it is 7 now this is equal to 2 into minus 1 minus 1 into 4 plus 3 into 1 so this is equal to minus 2 minus 4 plus 3 this is equal to minus 3 so the determinant value is minus 3 here now determinant of a into i is equal to minus 3 0 0 0 minus 3 0 0 0 minus 3 this will be my, my determinant a into i here now a inverse equal to 1 by determinant of a into adjoint a here now let us find adjoint a here so adjoint a is equal to capital a for adjoint capital a we want to find the cofactor of capital a here so let us find the cofactor a 1 1 a11 of 2 means just multiply these two so it is minus 1 minus 0 that is equal to minus 1 now a12 that is equal to 1 2 means 4 into 1 place value is minus 4 minus 0 now this is equal to minus 4 a13 so the place value here it is plus here 4 into 2 is 8 
minus minus 7 into minus 7 is plus 7 so minus this one therefore it is 1 here now a of 2 1 this is equal to this place for this place the sign is minus so this is minus sign now the row here column this one we have to leave remaining is 1 minus of 3 into 2 is 6 so this is equal to minus 5 into minus is plus 5 now next a 2 2 this is equal to minus 1 leave the row leave the column 2 into 1 is 2 the place sign is plus here now this side minus 21 here minus so it will become plus 21 this is equal to 23 here next a 2 3 this is equal to 0 sign is minus here for this leave the row column cross multiply here so it is 4 minus of minus 7 that is equal to minus 11 here next a 3 1 a 3 1 equal to for this place sign is plus here now leave the row leave the column 0 minus of minus 3 is plus 3 that is equal to 3 now a 3 2 that is equal to for this place sign is minus here uh, now multiply so it is 0 uh, minus 12 so minus of minus 12 is equal to plus 12 now next a 3 3 that is equal to place sign is plus here now multiply that by multiply that is minus 2 minus 4 equal to minus 6 now cofactor matrix we have found there now write the cofactor of a that is equal to minus 1 minus 4 1 5 23 minus 11 3 12 minus 6 for this we have to take transpose that is adjoint a here that is equal to minus 1 minus 4 1 5 23 minus 11 3 12 minus 6 now let us find the inverse here so a inverse equal to 1 by determinant a into adj a that is 1 by determinant value is minus 3 of minus 1 5 3 minus 4 23 12 1 minus 11 minus 6 now this is equal to take this inside so minus 1 by 3 minus into minus become plus here so it is minus 5 by 3 minus 3 by 3 is 1 here minus 4 minus of minus become plus 4 by 3 minus 23 by 3 minus 12 by 3 is minus 4 here next minus 1 by 3 minus of minus become plus 11 by 3 and minus 6 by minus 3 is plus 2 now this is the inverse of the given matrix so a inverse is equal to this is the matrix